Hi everyone, James Price here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so very much for all of the love and support you've shown me on my previous videos. Thank you so much for all the likes and the shares and the, the wonderful and encouraging comments. And also thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I'm so grateful and so thankful for each and every last one of you guys. In this video, I want to talk about life and how short it is and how we should show love now while we still can. Life is not promised to us, and I believe maybe two or three videos ago, I, t I kind of talked to you guys, I kind of hit on that, um, that a little bit. In the book of James, chapter 4, verses 13 through 15, and um, I am going to give you guys a few scriptures in this video, and as I, I have been doing lately, uh, in the description, I always... Um, let you guys know the videos that I did mention in my video so that way you can see it, open up the Bible and study for yourself. I don't want you to take my word for it when it comes to the Bible. Open it up and study it for yourself. Pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you so that you can understand. I always read the King James Version. You may want to read another version, but I like the King James Version. I feel I've grown a little bit more in God and um that is, in my opinion, the most accurate um, version of the Bible translated from Hebrew to our language of English. So I encourage you guys to do what 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15 says, Study to show yourself, thyself approved unto God a workman needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So if you want to know God more, you want to draw closer to him, I encourage you guys to read and study his word. And I also encourage you to get you a prayer closet. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6 also talks about a prayer closet or a secret place. It says, go in there and shut the door. Seek Almighty God a secret and he will reward you openly. So intimacy with him is key to growing. Just like any relationship, um, you won't grow closer to your spouse without intimacy, without time spent with them. So... It's the same way with Almighty God and his son, Jesus Christ, whose name in Hebrew is Yeshua HaMashiach, and the Holy Spirit, uh, whose name in Hebrew is Ruach HaKodesh. All right, guys, in James chapter 4, verses 13 through 15, it says, starting in verse 13, Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there for a year and buy and sell and get gain. Verse 14 says, whereas ye know not what shall be on tomorrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that will appeareth for a little while and then vanisheth away. Verse 15, for what you ought to say or what you should say, if the Lord will, if it's God's will, we shall live and do this or that. So there it is right there. Life is not promised to you. If it's the will of God, that's why I always tell people when they ask me, can you do this or do that a week or two weeks or a month from now? I'll say, yes, sure. If it's the will of God, if God willing, God willing, I can do that. So hopefully I can. That's what I tell people. I don't say, oh, yeah, well, I'll be there 100 percent because I don't. I just don't know. I'm telling you guys. Um, I had no clue. None of us did. Our family, none of us knew that my wife would pass away a year ago during childbirth. We just didn't know that. And I'm telling you, I understand why Almighty God does not give us the ability and the power to know the future because we would be trying to play God. I'm telling you, if I could look into the future 12 years, well, 13 years now ago, and see that I would meet my late wife and I would date slash court her for two years and then we would get married and for 10 years we would be wonderful and it'd be perfect, amazing marriage and she would bless me with two beautiful daughters and then at, the ten, at 10 years she would pass away during childbirth and then two months later the daughter that, I was care that she was carrying would pass away. I wouldn't take that, that deal. I will say absolutely not. I don't want to love someone and grow with them and every single day that goes by, love them even more 
and more and more and more just to lose them. No, I don't want that. And if it was the other way around and I could know that, I would take that because I would want that. And that may sound selfish, but I wouldn't tell her. I would just do everything I could leading up to that time to prepare them for me leaving. And that's why God wouldn't allow that is because we would be trying to play God because I certainly probably would. And uh, But if it was the other way around, I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want to go through that pain. And... Um, and, you know, the Bible teaches us that, you know, we want more won't be put on us than we can actually bear. And I didn't know I would be able to take this. I really didn't. But I'm grateful for Almighty God giving me the strength and the ability to hang on and take this. It's only by his grace that I'm here in front of you right now. He has strengthened me and my two young daughters and all of our family. We are strengthened. And I tell you guys. Um, reach out to your loved ones now. Show love right now. Don't wait until they're gone to tell others how much you love them. Tell them now. Pick up your phone, okay? Call someone. Text them. Tell them you love them. Ask them, is there anything that I can do for you? Okay? I don't care if that person cussed you out today. Or you cuss them out. Forgive, move on, walk in love, and tell them that you love them. I'm telling you, in the book of John, 1 John, chapter 4, verse 7 and 8, it says in verse 7, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. In verse 8, it says, He that loveth not uh, knoweth not God, for God is love. I encourage you guys to show love to your people that are in your life now. Show love right now. Don't wait because they may not be here tomorrow. Okay. All right, guys, I hope this video was a blessing to you. I love and appreciate each and every last one of you. God bless you, and I will see you in the next video. Remember, God is love, so you show love. Don't wait until people leave this earth to try to show love. You show it right now. Life is not promised. I did not expect my wife to leave here, and I'm so grateful that we had a great marriage. I'm grateful that she knew I loved her before she left here. We had a wonderful weekend right before her passing. We had a wonderful time together and I'm so grateful for that. Guys, show love every day. Like I said, pick up your phone, call, text, uh, go get a card. It, it, uh, just thinking about you card. Tell your mother you love them. Tell your dad you love them. I lost my dad earlier this year as well. So tell your loved ones that you love them, okay? All right, guys, I pray this video is a blessing with you. Show me some love, like and share, uh, subscribe to my channel. God bless you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.